Very cool. Okay, our last letter. Two. What are you talking about? Our last letter is entitled <laughs> Atlas Shrugs and is going to be read by a former member of the highest order 13 of the ex Illuminati, Donna Todd. <laughs> Donna Todd. started, actually, I want to ask, anybody have an encyclopedia at home? Okay, so I want you to go home tonight and look up the word Illuminati in your encyclopedia. In some encyclopedias, you'll see it listed as something that existed once and is no longer around. And in other encyclopedias, you'll see it listed as something that still exists, but they won't tell anything about it. Now, before we get started, I want to give you a little reading list, okay? And before I tell you the name of this book, I want to tell you a little bit about it because I want you to think carefully as to whether or not you're going to buy the book. I don't want you getting mad at me later because I recommend it. It is not a Christian book. It is not a political book. It is an Illuminatist's book. The book was ordered and produced by Philip Rothschild, the leader of the Illuminati in this day and age. It was written by a woman named Anne Rand, who was at the time one of Philip Rothschild's mistresses. She was also already a very well-known author and her books are read worldwide. Now, this book, like most of her books, is mostly read by communists. It was written as a novel and it's 1,100 pages long, so if you don't like to read, please don't buy it. Now, in this book, Anne Rand talks about a lot of things. It's a novel, right? Supposedly, it is actually a code book. And the book contains a step-by-step -step plan to take over the whole world by taking over the United States. Now, I'm gonna say a lot of things here tonight that some people are gonna go out and say, oh, well, you know, she's just anti-American. No, I'm extremely pro-American. I'm simply anti the government that exists within America today because it is no longer a government by and for the people. And I am pro-people government. Now, I know that's what communists like to say, so I'm sorry if I upset you. But that is exactly what is stated in the Constitution. All right, the Illuminati. The power of the Illuminati. And I'll give an explanation. The Illuminati is the following. Well, okay, first, most people first encounter the Illuminati in something that just crosses their path. So people have encountered the Illuminati in the occult, and they have mistakenly said, aha, the Illuminati is in the occult. Or they have encountered the Illuminati in the Masons, and they have said, aha, oh, the Illuminati is in the Masons. Or they have encountered it in politics, or in Zionism, or in the banking system, or in the Mormon religion. Well, that's because the high leaders of the Mormon religion are echelons up in the Illuminati. Maybe they encountered it in the John Birch Society. Well, the leader of the JBS is not only a high order mason, but he's also a Mormon. Thing is, the Illuminati is in all of these things, and its power is finance. Now, if you were to take away its finance, which is impossible, oh wait, I forgot to tell you the name of the book. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just got going and I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Okay, so the name of the book is <laughs> Vote as the king died. 